Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it is officially fall time here in Michigan and we are really close to our frost date coming up. Um, right now at night it's hitting in the low 40s so we're pretty dang close so I really wanted to give you guys a nice garden tour video before um, things start dying back and I start cutting things back to prep for winter time. So I hope you guys enjoy and yeah. A big thing that we accomplished this summer is our brand new deck and we built this deck ourselves so this was very time consuming as we are not professionals but we started from scratch this used to be a um, large dog kennel this whole entire thing the whole length of our garage and as you can see I mean we tore that out it was gravel for a couple of years and then once we were finally able to afford it, we decided to build our deck. This was a vision of ours from the get-go. As soon as we looked at this house, we thought, oh, this would be an amazing area for a deck. So it worked out very, very well. We still have to put railing on um, the steps here, but other than that, everything is done. So we might even wait until next season to do that, but we are very, very happy with this and we absolutely love it. So in our pond area, this space has truly evolved and I'm really excited. Um, I planted a lot of new things in this area this year. Um, so everybody knows the first year isn't that great. Give it the second year and you'll start seeing like the real blooms, the fullness of the plants. You won't see it like dying back because it's like in shock from planting it. Um, so I'm really excited to see this area next season. As you can see here, this is my Forsythia bush. This blooms beautiful yellow flowers in the springtime. Um, this is a beast of a bush. So make sure when you are planting something like this, you give it enough space. Like I'm giving it all of this room and around that area to grow in. And I maintain my bushes pretty well around here. So if it grows wild, I'll fix that pretty quickly. But just know this one gets pretty wild. Um, right next to that, I have a willow bush. And this is one of my favorite um, bushes in our landscaping. It just has such beautiful texture and it's just absolutely phenomenal. This thing also grows extremely fast. Um, we just planted this, um, it was just a little baby. Uh, I think about two and a half years ago. So, I mean, look at it. It's just amazing. Two and a half years worth of growth, and this is how big this has gotten. So, pretty spectacular, I would say. Then, um, down around here, these are the new plants that I've planted this year. So, next year is when you'll really see things fill in. But right on the corner here, I have Black Eyed Susans. Um, I have Salvia, I have a couple of those tucked in there. And then I have, um, this was just one mint plant. And, um, you know, I will maintain this area pretty well. So I don't care if this fills in this spot or not. I know some people will be like, why did you put mint in your landscaping? But I am totally, totally fine with it. Um, so that does not bother me at all. Um, I have some cone flowers here and this is the aster. This is starting to die back now because it, it has bloomed like crazy. So this is starting to die back. I have a couple of videos on that if you'd like to check those out. Um, and then all along the side here, um, I have uh, hookahs. So different varieties. I love hookahs. You'll see them all over my landscaping and they are just phenomenal plants. I absolutely love them. And then I have um, my limelight hydrangea. This was the first year planting this. So as you can see, um, it's doing good, but it's going to do amazing next year. Um, this will, I'm giving it all of this room in here to fill in and as it grows over time, I'll cut it back, um, and keep that maintained and move plants around, whatever I have to do, honestly. 
Um, I have a couple chicks and hens, more hookras. Um, I have some beautiful butterfly bushes. Um, there's a few butterflies on them actually right now. They just love, love those plants. Um, I have some lavender, and this has done exactly what I wanted it to do this year. Um, it is filled in this space beautifully, and it's going to get better and better. It'll edge its way closer to the pond um, and grow bigger um, by even next season. So I'm really excited to see that as well. Um, just like before, um, I have sedums all along up there and around the pond area. So those always do amazing every year and that's something I'll probably never move. I just love the beautiful colors that those give. Um, down here I have a couple blue grasses and then a hookra. And all along here leading up this cute little path I have some salvia. Again some butterfly bushes with some butterflies on them. That's something I've absolutely loved this year is seeing all of the pollinators that our garden has attracted. Um, it's something that I've always um, worked so hard for in this landscaping since we've moved in. And I feel like this is the first year that we have been able to accomplish that. So it's pretty awesome. Um, I've really been enjoying this. And then I have my boxwoods that are lining up that path as well. Those are doing amazing. They are putting on new growth since we've been getting all this rain and beautiful weather. Um, it's not super hot, so they have been just loving it. Um, I have a red burning bush here. So I have some more hookahs and then some more sedums. I absolutely love these. Um, sedums. They have the dark purple socks um, and then bright um, red on the top. It's probably not coming off that way in the screen, but it is a beautiful, beautiful color. I love purples in the garden. So that is exactly what I wanted. Um, and then my arbs on the side here have done great. I feel like this is just a perfect area to frame the garden out on this side and give a little bit of height over here. Um, we do have a hill that um, goes up into our yard as you can see here. It goes right up on a slant so having this pond area here with all the different textures and height of plants and bushes and whatever I feel like it just makes the garden flow a lot better um, instead of coming out in the backyard like when we moved in and just seeing like a hill <laughs> like it really didn't make a lot of sense and I feel like it the yard just seems so disconnected from the house but now it feels like it all goes together but yeah these arbs started out super small like just tiny little babies and now um, this one and this one, this one's as tall as me and this one's taller than me. So, um, they were all different sizes. So, um, when I got them, uh, this one was the largest. So that is why they're growing at different rates. Um, but they're all catching up beautifully this year. I feel like together. So this was the best year for them. So on the side of the, um, deck here, I have some sedums tucked in here and some bee balm. This is all um, bee balm right here. It's dying down, um, so that's not really going to be as showy right now. Um, that's more for like early summer, I'd say. And then I have another beautiful rose bush here and with really pretty yellow flowers so I've really enjoyed this as well. Um, we've had quite a bit of issues with Japanese beetles this year and they have just destroyed pretty much all my rose bushes and I've just been fighting them constantly but um, I'm gonna be baiting next year for them so hopefully we don't have an issue with them. 
and then we can have a better year for roses. Um, it's like as soon as the roses bloom, they're like attacking them. Um, actually, I see one now, right there. Um, yeah, a little booger. But yeah, it's just, it it's frustrating. Um, they've been in our yard like all season long and we've just had the worst time with them, even on like our bushes, like off on the side there in our crab apple tree back there. Um, they were like destroying that tree too, so we had to spray neem oil on them. And then on the back here, I transplanted from another area in our yard um, our lilac bushes. So these are um, turning like a really beautiful color right now. And I just love these. It'll be nice when they get tall um, and a lot bigger. So um, I would like them to get as tall as the railing up there. Um, and just fill in this area nicely. I think the color will just look so beautiful. Um, and so yeah, I really, really have been enjoying that. In this area, I have some more hookahs, and these ones are really, really beautiful. Um, I love this one the most. I can't think of the variety name of it, but it's like a beautiful peach tone. Um, this is just really nice. I like this a lot. And then on some of them, you can see like the green tones. It's just super, really, it's just really pretty. And um, it just gives a lot of like fall interest. So that's why I really enjoy hookahs so much. This one's really interesting too, if you can see that. And then on the back side, it gets like that bright, bright, I guess, fuchsia pink. Um, and you just have a bunch of different colors in here. I even love like the green tied in with that. And then underneath it's purple. And then these are the other asters that I got. As you can see, I mean, the blooms are dying back. These won't be the best year for them um, because it's its first year, but next year this is going to be awesome. These are going to get super big, fill out this whole space in here. Um, that'll look awesome. And then I have some really beautiful white daisies here. Um, I tucked four of them in here and this will get nice and big, but this area, it'll fill in pretty heavily. Um, for next season, so I'm excited to see that, but I'm really happy that I actually got some blooms this year. Um, you can see a bee on there, but um, yeah, lots of blooms already, uh, so it's kind of cool just to have that little bit of color for the fall time. Okay, so here is the garden area. Um, it's very bare right now, and it's going to get a lot more bare. <laughs> I'm about to rip out these um, pepper plants in here and the basil and everything. Um, I could leave it in and just see, but nothing's really growing. Um, it's getting too cold at night now, really. Uh, so I think I'm ready to tear things out. I have like one banana pepper right there. Um, and I have a little bit of jalapeno plants right there, but all in all, I, nothing is really uh, producing. It's not going to produce and be ready to um, harvest and just in time for frost. It's just not going to get there. So I'm going to take those out and this area will be really cool because um, I plan on redoing my garden. I want to make it a little bit bigger so extend it out a little bit more. I'm going to do a lot more of um, gardening out on my back deck as well, um, having things in pots so that I'm able to just have this area primarily for just tomatoes. I think that would be perfect for me and my needs and what I want in my garden space. So, um, yeah, this is probably the last time that you'll see this with plants in it still, but I will definitely show you the progress of, um, you know, sprucing this space up and adding to it. So yeah, definitely stay tuned for that. All right, guys. Um, it's really just a simple, uh, quick video. I hope, um, I sort of ramble sometimes, so that's just who I am, but, um, yeah, I'm going to be cutting things back and things are just going to start dying out. So I figured a really nice garden video just so you could see how everything looks. And so I can look back during the winter time, uh, just, I don't know, to see how things were um, and get some more ideas for next year. So I'm really excited for that and I hope you guys enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe to my channel, comment if you have any questions, and I will catch you in the next one.